What's up guys, Mike from Harvest Time Outdoors. Today I got off of work and look what was waiting for me when I got home. My new RX3 Ultra from Hoyt. Um, I just took it out of the box like five minutes ago and I can't set it down. Awesome feeling, awesome looking bow. I shot the RX1 last year. Um, I love that bow. And uh, at the ATA show this year, I shot the RX3, the uh, 30 and a half uh, inch axle axle. And I loved it, it was a great shooting bow, but I went some a little longer this year. <clears throat> I haven't shot this bow yet, so I'm really excited to get it all set up, get everything on it, and, uh, and start shooting with it. But first first impressions is super, super comfortable grip. Um, it's light, obviously well balanced. They, uh, they got that figured out. So I'm gonna start putting everything on it, and uh, yeah, we'll go through you know what I'm doing when I'm, when I'm doing it. And yeah, let's get this thing put together and start shooting it. All right, first things first, gotta get our rest on. Let's get the rest on, then we can find our center shot, get our D loop on, all that. So, first thing we're gonna do is get the rest on. So everybody knows there's a bunch of different rests out there. I've been a uh, limb driver fan for a long time now. I think the last five bows I've had, I've had uh, limb drivers on. I just I love them. They're super easy to tune. Um, they work flawlessly. And uh, yeah, they're just great products. Great, great rests. And they're really easy to set up. You're about to see how easy they are set up. I never get this dang thing off here. All right, so what I'm doing right now, it comes with a little pad that I'm going to hook the uh, rest line up with to the top limb. Okay, you like to put that, that pad kind of where, uh, where you have the most flex in your limb when you draw back. So um, these bows, it's usually towards, you know, towards the back, I usually leave about an inch, and that's where it, you know, where it flexes the most. So. And then uh, now we're ready to attach our cord here. All right, to get your, uh, your rest string done up here, you're gonna take it, you can go from outside to inside on the limb, and you're gonna put it in the middle of this pad here that we first put on, line it up. There's a little groove in there for you, and then the only thing you're gonna do is tie a D-loop knot. So if you don't know how to do that, then you can go back to my video on tying your D-loop. It's super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and burn this at the right length. Just like on D-loop, you just ball it up a little bit. I'm gonna flatten this one a little bit. And not. Get it close to the limb. There we go, it's nice and tight. All right, this rest, like I said, man, is super, super simple. Okay, you don't have to separate your cables, nothing. So what you do, you apply pressure on your launcher. You take your line, you wrap it through this nut right here. Wrap it all the way around the nut. There's even a little directional arrow. Makes it that much easier. Okay, once you get it around, pull up on your line, keeping that pressure on the launcher. You can take your Allen wrench. You're just going to tighten it down. So now actually setting up the rest is done. What I'll have to do obviously is make sure it's center shot and paper tune. But that is it. So now I'm going to cut this and I'm going to burn it. And then uh, we can move on to our center shot and getting our D loop uh, on there. So super, super easy rest to set up. So I've had a couple of people ask me what that, uh, what those little 
dots were in between my arrows on my D loop video. Um, those are knock sets, so I always do knock sets. Some people do, some people don't. Um, I do it, it's just, you know, it holds your arrow in the same place. It's not shifting at all. So that's super easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First off, I'm just going to tie this serving on here because it's knock sliding and I'm not gonna be able to find my center shot with the knock sliding. So I'm gonna take this serving, just tie one overhand knot, just get it, get it, uh, get it set there so I can move it around. I'm gonna use my levels, just make sure the bow is level. I always check it a couple different places. It's the last thing you want is it for to do all that work and it not be level. Okay, we're level there. Then I'm gonna take my arrow level. I'm gonna put it on my arrow. So this is gonna show me where I want the height of my knock. So obviously it's super high there. And what I'm looking for is to get that arrow right in the center of that burger hole in your uh in your riser. Alright, so I'm good with that, how level it is. It looks, it looks really good. It's right down the middle of the burger hole and it is perfectly level. So now this is where I'm gonna go into tying those knock sets on this knock. All right, with the knock set, super easy. All right, so we tied that first overhand knot. Now we're gonna tie a second overhand knot. We're gonna tie it on the back of the string now. So just one overhand knot and bring it down, get it on top of the first one. Go ahead and tighten it down. Just like that, and then you're gonna tie a third overhand knot, and it's gonna be on top of the one you just tied. Here, overhand, bring it down, dress it up, make sure it gets on top of there, tighten it down. I'll take a pair of pliers or something just to get it uh just get it nice and seated so it don't move. And then just like everything else, you're gonna cut it and burn it. Now we'll do the same on the bottom. All right, so now we got the D loop on it and uh, I can't take it anymore. So I'm going to put an arrow in it and I'm gonna shoot it. Um, I made some Black Eagle carnivores for this bow. So we'll see how those shoot. We'll do some paper tuning here in a little bit, but I just have to shoot this bow, so. Let's do it. Oh, super smooth draw. Just kind of comes straight back. Really easy to hold that 85% let off, so nice. Good Lord. They smoking fast. It's a 412 grain arrow. Man, that was crazy smooth. Smooth through the shot, through the draw cycle. Let's do it again. Golly. Zero hand shock, zero vibration. Just smooth, super, super, super smooth. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on my draw board, check the uh, timing, make sure timing's all good. And uh, yeah, then we can start dressing it up a little bit. I'm gonna shoot it a couple more times. God, late, man. All right, so what we're looking at here is the top draw stop or cable stop 
is about a quarter of an inch behind the bottom one, meaning the bottom cable stop here is already touching the cable and my top one hasn't reached yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some twist in the cable to bring this cam around to sync up with the bottom cam. So our timing's perfect. So both those cable stops hit at the exact same time. Pretty easy fix. Throw it in the boat press, put a couple twists in the cable, and that's it. All right, now that we got all the accessories on, we're going to shoot it through the paper, see what kind of tear we're getting. If you do, uh, you know, if you take your time setting everything up, it makes it a lot easier when we get to this part. So if you take your time, you really, uh, you know, get in all the details, make sure everything's right. And this should only take one, maybe two shots. So we'll see what happens. God, it's so sweet. All right, so we got everything on. Everything's tied in, ready to go. Now I just need to uh, get to the range and shoot it. You know, I shoot right here in my driveway for the most part. Uh, I can get out to about 35, 40 yards, maybe. But I um, need to go put some serious time on the range. Got uh, the Reinhardt 100 coming up next weekend in Eufaula, Alabama. I'm gonna shoot that. So I gotta, gotta keep grinding, get this thing set up. But this is a sweet shooting bow. If you guys are wondering about getting one, go to your local shop or your local Hoyt dealer, pick one up, shoot them. Dude, it's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. So I'm gonna sit here, shoot a few arrows, and uh, yeah, actually I'll probably shoot about 200, but I um, appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, didn't really get too down and dirty, but uh, tech time's gonna keep rolling, so I'll keep going more in depth on different, different things that you need to learn and know to uh, work on your own equipment, but until that next Tech Time video, thank you guys for following, subscribing, commenting, all that craziness. I greatly appreciate it. So uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Tech Time.